With local temperatures beginning to increase, insect activity should also start to pick up. Even though warm pressure has been light in the field for the past months or so, it would be wise to keep a look out for corn earworm. In the past few years, unusually high corn earworm abundance has been reported by PCAs on late head lettuce, particularly in the Dome Bel Welton areas. Our latest trap catches from the area-wide trap network indicate that moth counts have been nearly bottomed out for some time. However, this is typical of February, as you can see in the graph below. It could be the calm before the storm. In the previous two springs seasons, trap catches started to increase in late February, early March, and peak by mid or late March. These increased trap numbers should be used as an early indicator that moths are active, actively flying at night at higher abundance and PCA should start to scout more aggressively for eggs and larvae. Corn earworm can be very damaging in spring crops once head formation begins. Larvae will usually bore into the head one to two days upon hatching. Corn earworm is much more likely to be bore into lettuce heads than other Leptopter larvae, rendering the heads unmarketable. If fields are not watched closely, infestation may not be noticed until the head is harvested. Once inside the head, control of larvae with currently available insecticides is not possible. Thus, pay careful attention for newly oviposited eggs laid singly on lettuce plants. If you are beginning to find eggs and suspect that corn earworm are active in the field when plants are beginning to head, it would be a good idea to treat at regular spray intervals 7 days. The UV nominal threshold for corn earworm in head lettuce from early heading to harvest is 1 to 2 larvae per 100 plants. Essentially, you see one, you spray. Repeated insecticide treatment may be required to maintain low population levels near harvest. Most contact insecticides recommended for left larvae are active against corn earworm. Furthermore, the addition of a pyrethroid with thrips, aphid, and or fungicide sprays may be cheap insurance against larvae infestation heads as you approach harvest. For more information on corn earworm management and control recommendations, see corn earworm management on desert production and 2016 lab control chart at the Arizona Cooperative Extension website. Thank you.